So CF Motor has been making so many waves in the motorcycle industry for the past 10, 15 years now. I'm here in one of the CF Motor showrooms to show you a very interesting sport bike that I just spotted here in their showroom. Let's go and take a look. So we're going to take a look at the CF Moto 450 SR. It's a very interesting sport bike here. And uh, we're going to do a quick walk around. So let's start from the front. And I'll just start from the... It's got a really nice windshield. Um, Smallish, as typical for sport bikes. And if you look at these turn signals, you can push them down here. They, they actually turn um, rear view mirrors, but they double as turn signals as well if you see the red uh, LEDs in there so that's really really nice so when you don't need it you just tuck it away and when you ride in you push it back out that's really really cool and coming down here it's got some daytime running lights here or let's just call them running lights down here and you don't have headlamps here but you have headlamps on both sides so that's really really nice I like the front of the bike the way it looks it's going to help with wind and aerodynamics for the rider and down here you have your mud guard which also has this opening here all good for aerodynamics to stop resistant wind from stopping the bike and on the side you've got some really nice red painted wheels and you get a very wide brake disc with uh, ABS in front and it comes with Brembo brakes so that's really really nice but it's got just one disc in front it's not double disc but it's got this probably do double piston Brembo brake caliper so it's going to give you some really nice strong stopping power and you got a reflector right here I like the red it's a lovely paint of red and the front comes with ring 17 tires so that's really really nice I've got some nice carbon fiber right here on both sides and if we just move a little bit to the right we have SR decal 450 SR decal right here and if you go down you have your fairings and I like how they've been angled so even when you tilt the bike you're not going to scratch it and it's got this nice sort of guard here for those times when you you, you slide the bike on the side or the bike falls over on the side it's not gonna destroy that much so that's really really nice and if we go to the side of the bike this is what you are seeing it's got the engine part of the engine the engine block is actually tucked away with this not sure if it's carbon fiber or just carbon fiber coated uh, fairing here which makes it look really really nice part of the engine is actually hidden and so you have your brake fluid which is also recessed nicely so it's not going to be damaged when the bike falls over and you have this nice round brake paddle brake lever and you have very solid mm, grippy foot peg for the rider of course for a sport bike it has to be grippy so it's got these nice spikes on it that's really really cool got CF motor embossed on there you get a really nice big exhaust I'm not sure how it's gonna sound but the opening is quite wide so it's gonna sound really nice and throaty and you got your foot peg for the rear passenger also very grippy as well and very tactile when you pull it pull it away that's really really nice and looking back here again you've got rim 17 tires for the rear and you've got the uh, measurements for your chain adjustment really really nice you've got a smallish brake disc on the rear it comes with ABS and some red coated rims as well so that's cool LED turn signals all around and you've got your number plate mounting area and you get your light for the number plate right here nicely done with this thin sort of bar holding it all together and if we move to the chain side you have 
a very nice solid looking sprocket for the chain and you have a chain cover as well very flimsy but it's okay as long as it does the job and you've got your gear lever here also feeling very very solid to the feel to the touch and this is the left side of the bike for the rider now let's just go and take a look at the top side of the bike so you have a very small pillion seat which is kind of hard so it just tells you that this bike is not meant to carry a passenger for long but a rider seat itself is very wide and it's made of this very nice Alcantara sort of material it's not really like leather kind of like Napa leather or something and I hope it's not I hope it's waterproof definitely I'm sure water is not going to go through and you have some wind outlets here so that's really really nice for aerodynamics and when you look up here you have some uh, CF Moto sort of <laughs> decal on it so that's really cool and you have your fuel fill cap feeling very solid I just hope that these stickers will not come off when you pressure wash this bike but it looks really cool it has this 3d effect and as a rider when you're sitting on the bike this is what you are gonna see if I just sit on it has a really nice setup though I'm liking it I'm not a fan of sports bikes maybe one day I'll have one as a spare when I can afford it just to ride around the block but adventure is my kind of thing but yeah the seat feels quite comfortable and my leg is yeah it's quite it's not too tall it's not too low it's just right for me and look at the TFT screen I don't have the key here but I believe it's very similar to that uh, new design language they have on the 450 MT uh, which is right over there which I've reviewed before and I'm going to try to link it up there for you to see but yeah as the rider this is where you see you have your easy to refill sort of easy to refill brake fluid uh, reservoir and let's start with the levers on the left side so you have your clutch lever which is normal and you have your push to pass which also doubles as your high beam low beam and you have your turn signal here very tactile you get your horn yeah feels good and you have these navigating buttons here for changing functions on the on the go on the TFT screen and on the right hand side you have your push to start button ignition banner we will say and we have your hazard light here so you engage it by pushing it and it comes out and you turn it off you just push it back in let's see what sort of suspension it looks like it's using conventional CF uh, CF Moto suspension so nothing really uh, new there but it has a nice springy effect when you push it down so that's really really nice so yeah for those who are into sports bikes this is one that you might want to consider take a look around your city or your country if there's one available just go and have a look and maybe even have a try and you might just like it CF Moto is really making headway in recent years so don't just write it off and say oh it's a Chinese bike so but just take a look at it and you might actually like it all right guys so that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching I'm truly grateful I hope you really liked it if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can grow it together once again thank you so much for watching until I see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe always peace and I'm out